I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and in my last video I talked about plugging the Fitbit that uh, you may charge by plugging into your computer into a wall charger instead. And one of our subscribers wrote in and said, that's a pretty obvious thing, you know, why make a video about that? So, you know, for some people it's, they might not realize that they're actually able to plug the USB into uh, the wall charger. But even for people who do realize that, you may not realize why it can actually be a lot better to charge via the wall charger versus your computer. And the reason for that is kind of a simple matter of current and voltage. So USB is a 5 volt standard. So really you can plug this into the computer, you can plug it into any 5 volt wall charger. Any charger that's you know reputable and has a USB port should be outputting 5 volts, but you can read on the back and confirm that that's actually the case. So some people don't actually realize that, but even if you do, look at the current that you're using to charge your Fitbit or any other device. So when you're plugging this into the computer port, how much current is it actually getting? The USB 2 standard actually limits the current that a device is able to draw to a maximum of 500 milliamps. So that's going to charge the device, but if it needs more current or it can source more current in order to put energy into the battery more quickly, then that actually might be too little for it to charge at its maximum rate. But then let's take a look at this little wall charger. I'm trying to get it to focus here. And you can see down there under output, we see DC 5 volts, great, that's what we need. And then we see 1 amp. So 500 milliamps versus 1 amp, this is actually double the current capacity of the USB on the computer. So if you charge with this, not only is it more convenient, as I showed in the last video, you actually may get a much faster charge rate for your Fitbit.